Good morning, my friends. We're in the basement with Walter. I dug around in the garage for two boxes and found a few odds and ends pieces. Uh, some of these are going to be used on my horn, some are going to be used on this brake valve. I went to the hardware store and got some more goodies. We got forty, fifty dollars worth of stuff here. We ought to be able to come up with enough to put this thing together. <clears throat> Might help put my glasses on. I've got some anti-seize compound and some plumber's tape here. Before I go to using all that, I think we're just going to screw everything together lightly without tightening it. In case we have to tear into this thing again, we won't be have so much crap on our way. Might wind up with it leaking like a sieve. Alright. Since I can't get this pipe out, we're going to put this reducer on here. And let's try one of these. Should have got that in brass. It's black iron. I ain't believing. I just spent 15 minutes out of my life trying to clean the glue of a dumb little pipe bed. Well, that's not real tight, but it'll be snug enough for now. We're going to say that's going to be our air supply into the valve. Then we should try some air on it before we actually go to putting pieces that might go to a horn. Tell you what we're going to do. Rather than Spend 15 minutes running air hose down here to the basement. We're going to go out in front of the garage and try this thing. I expect it's probably going to be leaking like crazy anyway. Then we come back in here and work on the rest of it. All right, my friends, we're out in front of the garage on a cloudy day. And I'm going to be totally shocked if I hook up this air hose, this brake valve, and it ain't spewing from every little orifice it's got. Get over there where I can read. In the lap now. We know it ain't blowing by enough to where I can hear anything. I don't feel any air coming by when it's in lap. And this three quarter inch hole, we're going to reduce it to a quarter. No, there might not be enough air to blow a horn, but we're sure going to see about giving it a whirl. Well, I took the top off and looked in there. I think I pretty well had it right. I can't see any way to change it. Go ahead and hook the rest of this stuff up. You go two different ways here. I can go this route, or I can go this route. We're going this route. We're going this way. I got to clean off some more glue. I hate these stickers. I got it cleaned off pretty good. One of my biggest pet peeves is to buy a product with some kind of sticker stuck on it and you probably have to destroy the product to get the glue off of it. That one did any plumber's tape or anything yet. We don't know if we got it working yet or not. We definitely had air coming through it out there at the truck. 
Okay, when you're applying the brakes, you can't go and then come back. That Paul in there catches. You gotta put it all the way over there and then come back. But I'm getting my greatest air here, so say if it does succeed in blowing the horn, I gotta go all the way over here before I can come back and stop the horn from blowing. <laughs> 